Let's meet up. Still nothing, Lady Nicastro. Maybe you got the location wrong? They will be here, and the deck with them. Doubt me again, and the next entrails I read will be yours. Well, uh, come on, pal. Don't give me the silent treatment. Let's work something out. That's the pilot. Nap time. We're with L. You must be the pilot. Sure am. Get me to my bird and we'll scram. What do we have here? Come out! Come fight me! You! Hand over the deck. <laughs> <laughs> 
Make me an offer. We're not for sale. At the moment. Blink, and you'll miss me! You will never reach that aeroplane. Enough! My sword's thirst! This is how we say hello in Not bad. I might learn a thing or two from you. And that's why Uncle Sam pinned a medal on me back in 18.
What are you waiting for? To the aeroplane, quick! That's what you get. Get my hands dirty. What is this? Some kind of a, a gas, baby? Feel your nerves sing. Everyone on board, or I'm leaving without you! We just saved you! Go, go, go! Run all you like. No matter what you do, the tower will be mine. Here we are. Del Vasto's Landing. Now we find out what kind of man pays this well for a blank deck of plane cards. Wouldn't mind knowing who the hell we were fighting back in Marseille. Never seen troops like that before. Let's see what this Mr. L has to say for himself. A lovely little Mediterranean island you have here, Mr. L. I assume you are Mr. L? I have that dubious privilege. Welcome, Mr. Lejeune, Ms. Erickson, Mr. Sawyer. Do you have the undrawn hand? We have a package for you. What's inside, we can say, of course. Ah, of course. Regardless, that deck of cards is key to your next job for me. Slow down, pal. Who says we're interested in a next job? The last one burned your courier, and those two saw the body. Then you three may divvy his pay among yourselves and I'll sweeten the pot for this next one, 50%. You sound desperate. Okay, Mr. L, I'll humor you. What do you want us to do? In a word, sabotage. I'm in a race, you see. A race to find an ancient ruin, a tower. You may know it under one of its other names. The Axis Mundi, the World Tree, the Tower of Babel. Oh, you're an archaeologist, then. That's 
disappointing. <laughs> I am no archaeologist, Monsieur Le Jin. And my rivals in this race are even less so. I want to preserve the tower. My enemies want to ransack it. It cannot be allowed to fall into their hands. But it can fall into yours, huh? And the gal with the sword. She's one of these rivals? Zorana Nicastro. Yes. She and two others. A nobleman and an industrial tycoon. Each is the scion of their own <laughs> noble house. Collectively, they call themselves the Banished Court. Science of the Banished Court. Mm-hmm. And how close are they to finding the tower? They've already found it. You said you were in a race. I was. And I lost. But I'm not out of the fight yet. My enemies have yet to enter the tower. It is a... Dangerous place, and their preparations are incomplete. I want you three to sabotage their efforts until I can find the tower myself. Sabotage, huh? You have a target in mind? My sources have identified an outpost belonging to another of the court's three leaders. The tycoon, Trace Marteau. Marteau. Isn't that the famous American industrialist? The one who's always in the papers? The very same. I want you to infiltrate his outpost. Sabotage a machine you'll find at the center. And re Sabotage requires a subtle hand. You'll need me. In the spirit of charity, I accept. You'll need me too. But if the other two Scions are anything like Nicastro, I ain't risking my neck for free. Mr. Sawyer is right. Double our fee, Mr. L, and we'll get to work. Double it is. And please, call me Locke.
Looking good out there, champ. All this for one long lost tower, huh? There must be something very valuable inside. I wonder why Locke thinks he's the one who should have it. You sure ask a lot of questions, kid. It's part of my charm. Besides, I've seen my share of archaeological expeditions. Most of the time, everyone goes home empty-handed. Sometimes, you only wish they did. Mr. Locke hasn't asked us to break out the pickaxes. He just wants us to smash up some machinery. That's another thing. Trace Marteau is in a secret alliance with that Nick Astle woman. How's that for an odd couple? He's working on flying cars and she's running around with antique swords. How did they meet? I wonder that too. It keeps me up at night. I'm trying to count the money Locke paid me, but I keep losing count because I can't stop wondering. Mr. Sawyer, I'd be happy to count your money for you. Just say the word. Gentlemen, please. It's simple. Two sets of wealthy eccentrics have decided to indulge in an archaeological competition. Our Mr. Locke and this banished court. And if we play our cards right, we'll come away rich enough to cultivate eccentric hobbies of our own. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be preparing for our next mission. We wouldn't want to disappoint our employer, would we? So, you finally have your cards back. Was it worth it? Without a question. The undrawn hand is no ordinary deck of cards. Oh yeah? You going to do a rating? See your future? Can you see m my future? Centuries of study, and we've only scratched the surface of the card's potential. But we know this. The undrawn hand doesn't predict the future. Can it give me a future where I have a secret island of my own and don't have to work for you anymore? The cards prefer those who tempt fate. Perhaps if you keep sticking your neck out in the field, like you did in Marseille. <sighs> Forget about it. I almost got my head sliced off on that last job. I I'll keep flying your gang of crooks around, but I I'm not getting off the plane anymore. Not for anything. Not to worry. My agents will handle the field work from now on. Glad we see eye to eye. Good night, boss. Hope somewhere in those cards of yours is a winning hand. There is, Captain. There has to be. One more thing. These are portable radios. They'll allow you to communicate in the field. As if you were standing side by side. That's the tiniest radio I ever seen. In the war, they were big as rucksacks and heavy as sin. The modern world is one of strange and rapid change. I'll take any advantage it provides.
Good.